Hello friends, welcome to Technoi channel. We are continuing VOE JavaScript framework tutorial series. Today we will discuss about various lifecycle method and implementation couple of hooks so that we can do various operation when or during the process of this instance creation. So using this new keyword, the instance is getting created. And once we use this new E, so there are a lot of things VUE is doing under the hood. Okay. After this created, so we can put some hooks. For example, before create, at this point, the data is not initialized and uh, the uh, events and other thing is not also initialized. Once the data is uh, assigned to the data variable and assigned to this app, then the create a hook we can assign. So we can monitor what the data is flowing. In this stage, you can see the data is not available. But if you stay in this stage, the data is available. So let us implement that and uh, see by ourselves. And before we start the development, let me tell I am using a Visual Studio code. And uh, uh, Visual Studio Code Editor. I created a couple of other tutorials so where you can learn more about Visual Studio Code. And this is Chrome browser. I have written some uh, style set to uh, make it trim and you know only show this person whatever is relevant to our tutorial. And this is Chrome console. So if you do any kind of you know uh, console.log it will be displayed over here. And uh, this is my head section. And for the brevity I have get rid of HTML tag. Because HTML head and body tag are not essential as, as per the HTML5 standard. And this is the uh, using the NPM module I have installed it and given the path of the VUE framework. And this is a style sheet where the uh, color and font are mentioned over here. There is no fancy over there. And this updates is this whatever you are seeing over here. Okay. So now let us let me create some hooks. So as I mentioned we can uh, define uh, the function over here and the first one would be the before create uh, so we can this is uh, a function we can pass a callback function over here so this will execute it so we can uh, before create okay so let me reload the space okay so you can see this before create is created and if you would like to access the let's say for example this name okay so let me try to go name this dot name usually this is the way how to access this value so uh, so this name is undefined that means at this stage the data or is not assigned to this uh, uh, the instance of applications so after this before create we can have another hook for example create the these are the callback function we can define we can this is a property attribute name and we can use a colon symbol over here and we can write any function so console.log here this is the create hook Okay, let me reload the page over here. Okay, sorry. Uh, okay, it is not create, it is created. That is what you are unable to see. Now, uh, once the instance is created and the data is assigned, so I think let me try to access the data over here. So after this create hook is, okay, I think this is not it open, right? Uh, let me reload. Okay, this create hook is executed and let us try to access the name property this dot name and reload the space. So this is Peter. So before the hook, uh, the value was undefined and after that the name is Peter. So uh, let me explain you a couple of more interesting concept. So now this is the HTML element. Okay. Or the template we can say whatever maybe so this is the el element and once the data is populated it will try to render this element it will try to mount it about this javascript object or this boe instance to that of the template so 
there are a couple of process it will do it will uh, compile the template uh, and it will uh, render this variable and it will create that plain vanilla html syntax and uh, so there is uh, one concept known as mounting right so we can create uh, you know a few more hook like that so before mount function console.log before mount okay then after the mounting or after really replacing that uh, so we can say mounted function console.log mounted hook okay so let me reload it so it doesn't matter because I am writing sequentially you may think that it is coming like that phase then it doesn't matter you can write even though you write this before statement uh, above this creator still this will come after that right so there won't be change over here so before create will be executed first then create hook then before mount then mounted hook so if you are writing a sophistical plugins or applications so a lot of time you need to understand about these hooks so that you can write your code wherever appropriate or also uh, like for example we are uh, changing this data right so we can create some data uh, hooks before um, update function okay console.log before update then we have updated so console.log updated right so if i reload this won't be appearing because i am not changing the data for, but for example let me create a input take over here uh, input take close it and let me create v stand for view framework the model and equal to if i mention the name over here okay so so this is peter a so if I press any one character, so this value is getting modified. So this before update and update to change. So I'm most probably a comma b. So this is the old value and new value we can access. Let me try to type it a uh, b. Enter okay. So Okay, so let me reload the space. Okay, I think this is coming. Okay, it is undefined. So we can do the watch. I think we, it is just for detection of the value. So it is not even coming. So we can access using this. No way. We can easily. Okay, let me reload. So this is the structure. So if we change this, this uh, method will be executed. But only we can definitely access using this dot app dot name like this uh, value we can but i'm thinking that it is passing this uh, callback name or not this dot name okay so let me reload it of uh, peter1 so this is peter1 okay so before update i think this is the place the value won't get changed so it will be showing the previous name peter1 so here if you see okay before update Okay, this is before actually render the space. So if you see the uh, the value is getting modified, okay, but it is not rendered at this time. So updated means it is the space is rendered. So th there are also a couple of uh, you know other thing. Uh, I'll just explain before destroy. So and we can use destroy it so when your view will be you know uh, you you change this page to some other uh, you go to another tab and close the tab and go to another view so this will be executed 
So if you have any watch listener and some kind of cleanup activity, you can perform over here. So you can reset the variables and those kind of stuff. Okay. So this is about the life cycle method. So slowly we'll explore more about it and I will explain about some of the use cases, how to use it properly and which are the scenario. But this should give a good idea about uh, different uh, hooks we have for the life cycle of this particular app. Okay. Thanks very much for watching guys. Please subscribe so that you will get updated to my, you know, latest videos. Like it. It will help me. So more people can find me. You can share my free or uh, this YouTube video link in Twitter or Facebook. Thanks again. Have a great day ahead. Bye bye.